Next Saturday, she could become the first great American athlete to retire undefeated in more than half a century since Rocky Marciano stepped down from the ring. Her name is Anyata. She's six years old, and she's a thoroughbred. She has run in 19 races. She has won 19 races. Now she's going for number 20 at what many believe is the most prestigious competition of the year, the Breeders' Cup Classic. Some of the best horses from around the world will be running at Churchill Downs, and they're all males except for Zenyatta. At the age of six, she'll also be the oldest horse in the race. The stakes are extremely high, and not just in millions of dollars. Zenyatta is so adored by horse lovers that if she doesn't beat the boys and win one last time, hearts will be broken everywhere. It would be Babe Ruth striking out in his last at bat. The story will continue in a moment. Her life story can be told in one line. She does not know how to lose. But the first thing we noticed about Zenyatta was not her might, but her magnificence. She's quite simply the most splendid creature we'd ever seen. She's big for a mare, taller than most of the boys in the stable, and very calm. Thoroughbreds are supposed to be high-strung and hot-blooded, but there's something zen about Zenyatta. She loves kids and welcomes strangers, particularly when they come bearing gifts. When she hits the track, though, there is a personality change you can barely believe. She becomes obsessed, it seems, with showing the boys that she is faster and tougher than any one of them. She drives people into fits of frenzy. This was last year's Breeders' Cup. Zenyatta coming flying on the grandstand side. Gio Ponti on the inside. Summer Bird is right there. This is unbelievable. Zenyatta. Her Hall of Fame jockey, Mike Smith, has won all the races in the Triple Crown and nearly 5,000 more. How does Zenyatta compare to the other horses you've been on who won these championship races? She means more to me than all those. And can you explain why? She's just who she is. She's Zenyatta. She's incredible. She's unbeaten. She's done everything that we've ever asked of her. Will history be made next week? She's ready. I'll be ready. She's ready. Like I said before, given the opportunity, I think we could see something incredible. Where does she live? Where else? Hollywood. And at more than 1,200 pounds, she's the biggest star in town. The camera loves her, and she loves the camera. Before every race, she poses and struts and does a little dance. But once on the track, she's a Ferrari racing against a pack of Volvos. She's got a chance to gun them both down, and here she comes. Long-legged Track long-legged announcer Dick Stauffer has called Zenyatta's races from the very start, which is when she was just another horse. And the bad start has Zenyatta at the back of the pack. That's where Zenyatta has always started, in the back, lingering languidly, as if she's on a Sunday outing. But then she turns up the juice and slams into high gear. Zenyatta runs up outside of her and draws within a length of the lead. Vic Stauffer realized early on that this was one fast girl with a hell of a future. Here's a future superstar, Zenyatta. Wow. And that's when you knew you were really looking at something very special. She always comes from behind. Do you ever go a little bit crazy when she's way behind? Again, yeah, because I've become a fan and I've rooted for her, but that's just all part of the theater of her. Um, She passes them all, and I have a feeling that if there were ten more in front of her, she'd just pass them. And I think that's what keeps her keeps her sound and keeps her uh, happy is that uh, she only does what she has to do. So you might not have been on her at her fastest yet? I truly don't believe I have. Uh, I've always, in every race that I've ridden her in, I've always felt that there was another gear if I needed it. Maybe Saturday. I think we're going to see something really special. But her beginnings did not seem special at all. The only thing remarkable about her was her price. She was bought at an auction when she was one year old for only $60,000. John Sheriffs has been her trainer ever since. We were just really blessed and fortunate. How'd you get her so cheap? Well, I, I think because she had skin disease, which was she had a form of ringworm, so she wasn't 
particularly attractive at the sale. She had a rash. Had a rash. So yeah. it's been from rash to riches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't quite believe I said that. Under John Sherrod's tutelage, Zenyatta has won more than six million dollars. But she was a late starter, not ready, and too immature, sheriffs thought, to run in the big races when she was a little kid. When she was three years old, why didn't you race her in the Kentucky Derby? Uh, you know, she wasn't, as a three-year-old, she, she wasn't ready to race. You know, it, it took her a long time to, uh, to mature in, into the horse she is now, and uh, we just had to be patient with her. Sheriff gave Zenyatta time to grow up, and he insisted on doing it at his own pace without ever losing his temper. He thinks horses know when people are tense, and they don't like it. We spent nearly a week with Zenyatta, and for a celebrity of her stature, we had unusual access. We could watch her beauty treatments in the morning, the bandaging of her legs in the afternoon. We hung out with her on the lawn, which was planted just for her. That's what's so amazing about her, is she chooses to be gentle all the time. Zenyatta's owners, Anne and Jerry Moss, who made their fortune in the music business, know how to pamper their starlet. She's touched and handled by 14, oh, at least 14 people a day. She's and touched by 14 people a day? Over 14, yeah. yes, at least 14 people a day. And there's somebody with her 24 hours a day? Yes. Yes. It's pretty cozy. <laughs> yeah. It is. But the training on the track is regimented and rigorous. Five days a week, John Sheriffs has Zenyatta run at a moderately slow pace. She doesn't like slow, so her exercise rider has to use all his strength to hold her back. Then, once a week, she's let loose. But even now, Mike Smith says she's not nearly at full throttle. What does it feel like being on her? You know, there's just so much power. She's so athletic. She's such a big, big horse, so she's just amazing. How does it feel when she starts her surge? It's, uh, it's pretty amazing because it's been a matter of two or three jumps. She can make up close to ten links. It's even more stunning from the jockey's perspective. As you can see from these pictures, taken by a camera Mike Smith agreed to wear on his helmet. It's just, it's, it's wild. It's mind-boggling. Now, who decides when she starts the surge? Is it you or is it her? <laughs> It's me most of the time, but it's also her at times. She's like a loaded gun. You really? know, when you pull the trigger, I mean, it's, she's going to fire. And every day after the workout, it's lunchtime. Here's a question I think trainers all over the world will want to hear your answer to. What do you feed her? <laughs> well, you know, we give her oats and hay. <laughs> come on. Come on. You don't expect people to believe that. Um, well, okay, so we, we, uh, we add a little bit of uh, aloe vera juice, right? Mm -hmm. We give her aloe vera juice because it's good for their stomachs. And then if she's been really good, I could pop open a Guinness and she could have a beer in the afternoon. Give her a beer? Yeah. And she likes it? Yes, yeah. Just one? Usually just one. I wonder how she'd react if you gave her a different beer. Mm, I've tried that. Really? Yeah, and Guinness is very expensive. She won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a high-class horse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she just won't, she won't accept it. You know, it's got to be the stout. And that's perfectly mm, okay, because John Sheriffs yeah, yeah, yeah. is happy to let her be a prima donna. When she's playing to the crowd, yeah. how do you see it? What physical manifestation is there? Well, she gets very bright. You know, she she puffs herself up. You know, she looks very strong, and her and her eyes seem to you know stick out a little bit, and her, and, her, and she's just really bright and alert. Her ears are extremely. You know, her ears are like this. She's just listening for anything. Look over here. Look over there. You know, she's just she's really into it. She's her whole focus is on what's going on around her. You really think that when she's prancing before the crowd and sticking her ears up? You really think she knows what she's doing? Absolutely, yeah. There's no doubt about it. You know, this is Hollywood. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. No, she she just um, she just feeds off of it. And the magazines feed off of her. Zenyatta is profiled this month in W Magazine. Oprah calls her one of 20 women rocking the world. 
The editors didn't try to interview Zenyatta, but John Sherrill says he talks to horses all the time. Horses are really special. I mean, you can talk to them, you can work out your problems with them. How do you communicate? What do you communicate <laughs> with Zenyatta? Yeah, well, you, you know, when you look up into her face and look at her eyes and, and you just say, you know, you're doing great, you're the best ever, thank you for everything you've given me, and you just see that really kind look, you know, you have a feeling that she's actually understanding. Maybe she is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have to believe it, don't you? you know? The Breeders' Cup is the richest race in the country. If Zenyatta wins Saturday for the second year in a row, she'll take home another $3 million. And that's not all. This $60,000 filly will be lifted into another sphere. I think she could arguably, arguably go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest horse of all time. The greatest horse of all time? Definitely. Better than Secretary? Well... If we can pull it off, she's never been beaten, so how can you argue with perfection, you know? She'll be the oldest horse in Saturday's race, and when she goes into the final stretch and crosses that wire, the curtain will fall, and there will be no encores. She's going to have a good life after this. <laughs> Green pastures, motherhood. <laughs> yeah, they, all, they often talk about who they'd breed her to, and I've always said no one's worthy. <laughs> no man is worthy of no. Zenyatta. no. Not at all. Not even close. Win or lose, Zenyatta will retire after Saturday's race. One more indication of how much wiser she is than so many other Hollywood celebrities. She'll leave the game while she's still in her prime, before her star begins to wane. But one can't help wondering, once she's in her green and peaceful pastures, whether she'll miss all this. The tumult of the track. The clamor of the crowd. Zenyatta on the outside is coming. It's switch and Zenyatta and here's Zenyatta. She's flawless. She's never lost. She's a perfect 19 for 19. Go to 60minutesovertime.com to hear the story of the 60 minute staffer who became Zenyatta's horse whisperer for our story. Sponsored by Pfizer.